Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of a quadal puzzle. I've tried similar things before, called quadal with an O. This is quadal with an A, I don't know if it's pronounced differently. But anyway, the idea here is to guess four words, just like in regular Wordle. The difference is, as you can see, they make up a crossword. So if we get the second and fifth letters of number one, we'll know the first letters of number two and three. So that should help. So let's guess number one first. Let's try... Well, I always start with inert chaos. Let's start with inert. Gives us an N in yellow. The I and the E are sort of outlined in yellow. I guess that means they appear in other words. Um, but for now, let's put the N in a different position. Let's try agony. That lets me try two new vowels. O is correct. We still don't have the N in the right position. It's probably going to be last. So let's test number three. Ah, yes, we can see we've already ruled out the RTY. So this yellow outline up here does indeed mean that those letters appear in a different word. And no yellow outline means that we don't need to use those letters at all. Anyway, the upshot of that is that if I think this word starts with an N, then I can't use R, T, or Y, so let's try navel. Right, the N was correct. <laughs> Not a lot else was. Ah, in fact, the colouring is interesting. We've got a green outline around the E and the L. So that means one of the other words ends... Well, one of the other words has got the E in fourth. One of the other words has got the L in fifth, but not necessarily the same word. In fact... 1 and 4 can't have the L in 5th, in, yeah, because the N is there, and if the L was there, then 3 would also end in L. So that means 2 has to end in L. So what ends in L? I suppose the A can't be second, because it was yellow up here. I just guessed A is the second letter in my 3. I think it would have been yellow with a green outline if it was actually in a different position in three, but in that correct position in two. So I won't try panel, basically. <laughs> that's that's a long-winded way of saying I'm not going to try panel. So what am I going to try? What ends in L? Spoil, I suppose, would be a good word to try. It's not going to start with an S, because that wouldn't work for one across. But again, trying for remaining vowels is probably a good idea. Or not. Okay. So let's go to four, because now I'm pretty confident that four must be the word that has the E. Oh, I didn't try an E-L ending. So two or four could be the word that's got the E in fourth. Anyway, let's go back to number one. Number one. That's where we've got the most information. Um, let's just try clown it's quite restricted. Oh, that's annoying. It could still be flown or blown. Right, what about number two then? This is looking like it's going to be libel, because we did have to use the I. Does that help us with one? Oh, we don't know if there's a B there. That's annoying, because it was green. It didn't tell us if it was also yellow somewhere else. Okay, so we'll come back to that. What do I know more about? Three or four? This starts with an N and it's got an A somewhere that is not second because it was yellow when we guessed it in the second position up here. So that surely means that the I, O, or U has got to be second because we're going to have to have another vowel, aren't we? So, N, U, blank, A, blank, or N, I, blank, A, blank, or N, O, blank, A, blank. I'm assuming the A is fourth. It could be fifth, of course. Or it could be third. But then it would be N, U, A, N, I, A, N, O, A. I'm not sure any of those look that promising. Let's try niqab. Very uncommon word. Not likely to be correct. And I'm not sure trying the Q is a good idea, but it's the first word I can think of that's got the vowels in the positions I want them in. 
There we go, that's actually not helped at all. We've got a green eye. Okay, so that means that the eye is second in libel, we already knew that. So the A is in the right place, so that means the second letter's got to be an O or a U, but goodness knows which one. Nomad, that's a much more common word. There we go. Right, so now we can turn our attentions to number four. Let's try... Do we know anything about this? No. Uh, let's try blind, because then I'll find out if the B is the first letter of number one as well, I think. Yes. This B has a green outline, so that does mean it is in the third posi first position of one of the other words, which has to be number one. Right, and then this, we've got the L, N, and D correct. That middle letter could still be any of the vowels, that's quite unexpected. I don't think it can be an E, actually, because of my very first guess, I guessed inert, and it gave me a yellow outline for the E. So I assume that that means it's not third in any of the other words, otherwise it would have had a green outline. Let's just try it. Gland. Oh, gland was correct. So, 20 letters found. Clear bonus of five. I had four guesses left. I don't think that's a bad performance, but I guess I'll do this a couple more times in future days if people want to see it. Let me know in the comments. Um, and then we'll know whether it was a good performance or not. But for now, it's my best ever performance by virtue of it being my first ever attempt. That is the quordle, the quordle, I don't know, quordle word or crossword or anyway, whatever you call it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.